What if I told you that by 2029, just four years from now, artificial intelligence will be smarter than humans? What if I told you that by 2032, you could live forever? At the end of this decade, as we go into the 2030s, we're going to achieve a new milestone. It's called longevity escape velocity. Get to the point where we have uh, longevity escape velocity in good shape. Uh, I take maybe 80 pills a day and wow. some uh, injections and so on. It's not that far off. If you're diligent, I think we'll get there by 2029. Meet Ray Kurzweil, the man Google hired to predict the future, who claims we're just years away from merging with machines. As Ray Kurzweil isn't just any futurist. This 77-year-old inventor has been called the restless genius and the ultimate thinking machine. But who is he really? It all starts in 1975. A young Kurzweil sits next to a blind man on a plane. That conversation changes everything. Within three years, he invents the first machine that can read books aloud to blind people, revolutionizing millions of lives. He also developed the first music synthesizer capable of recreating the sounds of acoustic instruments. This transformed the music industry by making orchestral sounds accessible to individual musicians. Kurzweil's contribution have earned him numerous prestigious honors as well, like 1999 National Medal of Technology. President Clinton gives him the National Medal of Technology. MIT names him 1988 MIT Inventor of the Year, 1990 Design News Engineer of the Year, 2001 Lemelson MIT Prize. So when this man tells you that you'll live forever and AI will rule the world, you listen. But should you believe him? Kurzweil doesn't make small predictions. He makes claims that sound like science fiction. While some of his claims like pocket computers and smart devices are true, there are claims that weren't fruitful as well. Let's see some of his biggest claims that didn't come to life yet. Claim number one, artificial general intelligence by 2029. Kurzweil predicted that by 2029, AI would achieve human-level intelligence across all domains. While AI systems like ChatGPT and Google's Gemini exhibit impressive capabilities, they lack the general reasoning and consciousness characteristic of human intelligence. Jan LeCun, chief AI scientist at Meta, highlights the current limitations of AI compared to human intelligence. There's four Four essential characteristics of intelligent behavior. Understanding the physical world, having persistent memory, being able to reason, and being able to plan, and planning complex actions, particularly planning hierarchically. AI, especially large language models, have not hit this threshold, and incorporating these capabilities would require a shift in how they are trained. Challenges such as understanding context, common sense reasoning, and consciousness remain significant hurdles in achieving AGI. Claim number two, technological singularity by 2045. Kurzweil envisions a point by 2045 where AI surpasses human intelligence, leading to rapid, uncontrollable technological growth. He calls 2045 the year when we merge with computers and become superhuman, multiplying our intelligence through integration with advanced AI. By the time we get to 2045, We'll be able to multiply our intelligence many millions fold. And it's just very hard to imagine what that will be like. And that's the singularity where we can't even imagine. Right. That's why we call it the singularity. The singularity in physics, something gets sucked into its singularity and you can't tell what's going on in there because no information can get out of it. There's various problems with that, but that's the idea. It, it's too... Uh, too much beyond what we can imagine. While AI continues to advance, there is no clear indication of an impending singularity. Steven Pinker, cognitive psychologist and author, believes that there is not the slightest reason to believe in a coming singularity. The fact that you can visualize a future in your imagination is not evidence that it is likely or even possible. Look at domed cities, jetpack commuting, underwater cities, mile-high buildings, and nuclear-powered automobiles all staples of futuristic fantasies when I was a child that have never arrived. 
Claim number three, nanobots in medicine by the 2000s, 20s. Nanobots would be deployed in the human body to repair cells and combat diseases. In a 2015 article on Singularity Hub, Kurzweil stated, in the 2030s, we are going to send nanorobots into the brain via capillaries that will provide full immersion virtual reality from within the nervous system and will connect our neocortex to the cloud. Just like how we can wirelessly expand the power of our smartphones 10,000-fold in the cloud today, we'll be able to expand our neocortex in the cloud. 20 years from now, we'll have nanobots, because another exponential trend is the shrinking of technology. They'll go into our brain into the, through the capillaries and basically connect our neocortex to uh, synthetic neocortex in the cloud, providing extension of our neocortex. In the 2030s, you need some extra neocortex, you'll be able to connect to that in the cloud directly from your brain. While nanotechnology has advanced in targeted drug delivery, the deployment of nanobots for complex medical tasks is still in experimental stages. And let's talk about nanobots in your bloodstream. Even if we solve the technical challenges, power, materials, manufacturing, who's going to approve this? What if they malfunction? What if they're hacked? Claim number four, longevity escape velocity by 2029 to 2035. Kurzweil anticipated achieving a point where life expectancy increases faster than aging, effectively leading to indefinite lifespans. While advancements in biotechnology have extended human health spans, achieving practical immortality by the 2030s remains beyond reach. NIH-funded researchers have been working to better understand aging at the molecular level. They're studying ways to measure different differences in how people age before health problems appear. They're also exploring possible ways to slow or even reverse aging at the molecular level. Claim number five, virtual reality indistinguishable from reality by the 2030s. Kurzweil foresaw that by the 2030s, virtual reality experiences would be indistinguishable from real life. VR technology is rapidly improving, with devices like Apple Vision Pro and MetaQuest 3 offering high-end immersion. However, full sensory immersion is not yet achieved. Let's run a fact check and examine Kurzweil's track record, because what I found will blow your mind. In 1999, Kurzweil made many predictions about the year 2009. He claims he got 86% right. But when Forbes magazine fact-checked him, they found something very different. Out of 12 major predictions, only one was completely correct. Four were partially right, and seven were completely wrong. For example, he predicted that by 2009, the majority of text would be created using speech recognition. Look around you right now. Are you dictating this comment or typing it? And get this, the man who claims to predict the future completely missed some of the biggest tech revolutions of our time. So if he's been wrong about so much, why does everyone still listen to him? Despite his failures, Kurzweil's influence is undeniable. And there's a fascinating reason why. Because right now, some of his wildest predictions predictions are starting to look possible. GPT-2 in 2019 had 1.5 billion parameters. Chat GPT-4 has approximately 1.8 trillion parameter. That's over 1,000 times improvement in just four years. AI experts are now saying AGI could arrive between 2027 and 2032. That's almost exactly what Kurzweil predicted. Tech companies are pouring hundreds of billions into AI development. So maybe Maybe he's not crazy. Maybe he's just early. To understand Kurzweil, you need to understand his core philosophy, the law of accelerating returns. Most people think linearly, one, two, three, four, five. But technology grows exponentially, the difference is staggering. Your smartphone has more computing power than NASA used to land on the moon. That happened in just 50 years. The first human genome cost $3 billion to sequence. Today, less than $1,000. That's a 3 million fold improvement. Kurzweil's biggest weakness? He treats everything like a computer chip. Moore's law works for silicon chips because they're relatively simple. But biology? That's 3.8 billion years of 
of evolution, creating systems so complex we barely understand them. And then there are black swan events, unpredictable disruptions that change everything. COVID-19 actually decreased life expectancy in many countries. Economic crashes halt technology investment. Wars change priorities overnight. Plus, humans are weird. Even when technology works perfectly, we don't always adopt it. So what should you do with this information? First, prepare for accelerating change, but don't bet everything on specific timelines. Learn skills that will matter. Second, be skeptical of any futurists' specific predictions, including Quartzweil's. Third, if you're making long-term decisions, career choices, investments, life planning, consider multiple scenarios. Fourth, live as if you might live longer than expected, but don't count on it. Exercise, eat well, save money, maintain relationships. If longevity breaks Breakthroughs happen, great. If not, you'll be glad you prepared. Being aware puts you ahead of the curve. So Ray Kurzweil is neither a perfect prophet nor a complete fraud. His real inventions have changed millions of lives. His predictions have shaped how we think about the future. But his timelines? Consistently wrong. What do you think? Is Kurzweil a visionary genius or a delusional optimist? Will AI really achieve human-level intelligence by 2029? Will you live forever. Drop your predictions in the comments below. Smash that like button and subscribe for more deep dives into the people and ideas shaping tomorrow. Until next time.